I know for a whole lot of your lists, you're going to put black people at number five because a whole bunch of you people don't like black folks. For a whole bunch of black folks, black people are going to be number five because a lot of black folks don't like black folks. Action. Have you noticed in 2023 that everybody's a liar? Since the invention of social media, everybody's an amateur actor. You know what I'm saying? Like once they get on their social medias, they put on their pretend face and they start pretending things. Like they pretend like they just love everybody. Everything is acceptable in 2023. Everything is socially acceptable. I'm just going to say whatever, even if I don't like it. Hey, man, I respect honesty. Like tell me the truth. If we're in the same room with each other having a conversation and my breath stinks, hand me a piece of gum. Please give me a tic tac or something. Like, don't like walk out the room and go to another group of people and be like, hey, were you over there with him? His breath stank. His breath smelled like hot garbage. Like, don't do that to me. Like, have enough courtesy to allow me to correct my bad breath. Yes, honesty is such a beautiful thing. You know what else is big in 2023? Lists are huge in 2023. Everybody got their top five dead or alive, right? When it comes to rap, like if I say Kanye, 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 you look at me crazy as shit, say, what about Biggie? What about Jay-Z? What about Tupac? What about him? Huh? What about him? I got my list. I already told you. Kanye, 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 Kanye. You probably got your own top five list, right? When it comes to the NBA, somebody might say Michael Jordan. I seen Michael Jordan play basketball, but, you know, I don't remember that shit. I remember LeBron James. You ask me top five, I'm going to say Bron, 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 Bron. What's up? Tell the truth. Like, have honest conversations about our personal preferences in America today. But since social media has been created, and since everybody is an amateur actor, we have to just say whatever it is that's going to be accepted on the, on the internet. Because if it's not accepted by a whole group of people on the internet, then I might get canceled. Someone's not going to like me. That's all cancellation is. They didn't like what I said, and so they stopped listening to me. I'm going to stop listening to you people because you're all damn liars. Amateur actors need to take an acting class. Have some personal preferences. So in, right now, hate is bad. No one likes hate, but can you say that you dislike something? Okay, you can't even say that you dislike something. All right, all right. Preferences matter. So let's have a conversation about how much we love everybody. Rate the groups of people that you love from one to five. I'm black, so guess what? Black people, black people, black people. Now stop playing, okay, okay? One through five, rate your preferences one through five. Black people, Mexican people, Asian people, white people, and everybody else. Holy Christ, did he just do that? Is that the next big trend in 2023? I think that would be so powerful if people just were, were just told the truth. I know for a whole lot of your lists, you're going to put black people at number five because a whole bunch of you people don't like black folks. For a whole bunch of black folks, black people are going to be number five because a lot of black folks don't like black folks. <laughs> but they can't even tell the truth. They can't be honest because we're all performing. Living in America right now in 2023 is performance art. Everyone wants to be uh, uh, TikTok famous, YouTube famous. Instagram famous and you can't be famous if someone thinks that you don't like them because 10 years from now when you're a millionaire they'll be like do you remember when you said that white people were number four on your list do you still feel that way today nah I don't they're number five today because you just asked me that whole ass question I believe in the 90s or the early 198 well late 1989 uh early 1990s Spike Lee had it right. Spike Lee was having the most powerful race conversations ever. Have you ever seen Do the Right Thing? Do the Right Thing was made in 1989, and Spike Lee talked about race in such a powerful way. I was like, damn. Hey, uh, Mookie, uh, Radio Raheem, is love and there's hate. There's honesty and there's lies. And today, most of you people who are watching me right now, you're a liar. And I'm asking, hey, Tell the truth and let's engage in honest conversations to push culture forward. I don't want to live in cancel culture. I don't want to be surrounded by liars. I want to have honest conversations about how you really feel about me. If you don't like my black ass, like, man, I don't like your black ass. Just whatever you do, don't call me no nigger. Like, those are kind of like fighting words. But I respect the fact that you can dislike me or stereotype me based on the media that you consumed. 
because I have a lot of preconceived ideas about a lot of people based on my own encounters. Based on my interactions in life, I judge some of you people, I do. And if you don't want to fall into a stereotype, then behave. Have some better behavior. If you're a black, if you're a black woman in America, don't act like sexy red, okay? <laughs> if you're a white woman in America, don't act like no Karen, okay? If you're a Mexican man in America, don't act like the typical Jose. <laughs> and there's some goddamn Mexican man right now talking about, hey, my name is Jose. And I'm like, hey, nigga, stop acting like Jose. <laughs> Tell the truth and get some power, man. It's time to be the greatest American alive. 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 The greatest American alive.